This week on Taking It to the Streets, we take a look at the recent withdrawal from Afghanistan from an international perspective. In 2001, the British government joined forces with the U.S. in the war on terror, sending thousands of troops to Afghanistan and Iraq. Since then, the English parliament has been divided in its willingness to stay committed to these affairs. So how do you think the Biden administration could have done this differently? Um, a, I'm not really sure how they could have done it differently. I think the fact that we did it was the right thing. I, I, I do feel very strongly about that. Um, I think some of the intelligence and understanding about what was likely to happen with the collapse of the Afghan government and the military probably should have taken, been taken into more account um, because my understanding now is that a lot of folks anticipated that that was what was going to happen. So will this hurt our relations with other countries? Um, I think that it will just because it seems like it was quite poorly done and Americans didn't really receive it that well and the international community didn't seem to receive it that well and it was not covered positively in the press at all. So I think it will. We spoke to Tom Tugendhat to further understand foreign perceptions of the war in Afghanistan. Tugendhat, a member of the British Parliament and chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee, has been very vocal about the withdrawal from Afghanistan. So I think I've made my position on Afghanistan pretty clear, which I think this is a, a pretty awful um, letdown of uh, not just 35 million uh, Afghans, but also many hundreds of thousands of US, UK, mm -hmm. uh, Australian and many other servicemen and women who fought alongside us side by side. And uh, since I gave a speech in the Commons, I've had emails from guys I served with in France and Germany and Sweden in the United States and Canada. I can keep going, by the way, um, because this is an, an issue that has affected us all so much. Well, a lot of people who have a connection to the military, which is a large number of people in the UK, uh, have, have felt pretty let down, pretty hurt by what we've seen. And a lot of people who have no connection are still looking at the starvation that we're seeing in Kabul. They're seeing the, you know, the, the, the abandonment of interpreters and aid workers who worked alongside us and taking that pretty badly. Uh, and so I, I and many others are pressing our own government to do more evacuations uh, to help those who stood by us in our hour of need. You know, if we want to have friends in the future, we've got to show our friends that we stand by them. Uh, and that means doing the right thing now. Mr. Tugendhat also had one more thing he'd like to say to us. Don't forget, you can, uh, you can change the world. This is your democracy, this is your nation, and uh, your voices matter. So even if you're too young to vote, you are not too young to speak. So do make sure you use your voices. Our thanks to Mr. Tugendhat for taking time out of his busy schedule to talk to the transcript. The withdrawal from Afghanistan ended on August 30th, when the Defense Department announced that the last plane took off from the Kabul International Airport and no more American boots were on the ground. However, some officials like Zalamani Khalizad, who is the former lead negotiator of America's withdrawal from Afghanistan, said that there could still be thousands of Americans stuck in the country. Thanks for watching.